Okay, class, to continue our unit six discussion, you'll recall that in the discussion, we looked at three groups, uh, the different music levels, and we ran a one-way ANOVA in Excel to get our results so that you can make your conclusions about whether you feel like there were significant differences in the mean productivity between the three groups. So I'm going to now show you a website. Your text does not cover post hoc test. So what that means is you're going to produce your one way ANOVA output. And through looking at your test statistic and p-value, you'll be able to determine if at least one of the groups is significantly different by looking at your p-value. So let me go ahead and bring up the output that I had gotten from my previous Unit 6 discussion video. And it looked like this right here. All right. So you will notice that we have our test statistic 7.43, our p-value 0 0.001. And so that is certainly a low p-value. It's less than our alpha significance level of 0 0.05. And what that tells us is that we do have at least one of the three groups that is significantly different in terms of mean productivity. But the basic one-way ANOVA output does not tell you which groups are significantly different from each other. And you do not want to interpret a low p-value to necessarily mean that all three groups are significantly different from each other because that's not the way it should be interpreted. It just means that at least one of the groups is significantly different. And we won't know which groups are significantly different in productivity from each other until we run what's called a post hoc test. And there are many different types of post hoc test. Two keys is probably one of the more common and more familiar ones. But as I said, you're not going to be able to read about the post hocs in your text because it's not covered. There is a website that I wanted to share with you so that you will at least be able to see which of your three groups were significantly different. And you can also then include that in your discussion. I'll, I'll actually be asking some of those feedback questions in the discussion. So it's just nice to be able to tell where the group differences are. So I thought I would show you this. Now, if you get a high p-value, a p-value greater than 0.05, then you would conclude that there are no significant differences between any of the three groups in terms of mean productivity. And if you try to use the website that I'm getting ready to show you, it would actually give you a message that says it, can, it cannot run the post hoc, or it's not going to run the post hoc test because you did not get a significant result. But otherwise, as long as you get a p-value less than 0.05 in your results, then you will see that this website allows you to see where those significant group differences are. Okay, so what I'm going to pull back up is the... All right, here, are, here was my CSV file that had all the different, the three different um, data set, the three different groups. You also have, hopefully, just your regular Excel file that had your three groups after you did a pay special. So you can either use that one or this one. And so you're going to hang on to this. And then the website that I wanted to show you is www, so I'm typing that in, Vassar Stats. Dot net vassarstats.net that you see on your screen and so we're going to go into this and I am going to go to over here on the left where it says ANOVA click on ANOVA and I want one way ANOVA for up to five samples we only have three samples so click on one way ANOVA and then I'm going to come down here, and you have to fill in this information. Number of samples in the analysis, there are three samples. Remember, we have three groups. So I'm going to type the number three in here. They are independent samples. We have assumed that each of the three groups are made up of different employees, so they are independent samples. And again, it was really just an extension of the independent samples t-test from Unit 5. So I'm going to click on independent samples. And then it will highlight these three boxes ready for me to copy paste my, uh, the data for each of my three samples. So I'm going to go back 
And actually, we need to go down here and click uh, weighted. This is just going to do a, base, a basic standard one way and over here. So I'm going to click weighted. Make sure you click that. And I'm going to go back to my Excel spreadsheet. Or really, I think this is my CSV one, but either one. Do not include labels, but I'm going to click and drag down my no music numbers. Remember, this was just my first sample. I'm going to control C copy and click in this first sample one box and just do a regular control V paste. And again, make sure it's just numbers with no labels. I'm then going to go back to my Excel spreadsheet and pick up my second group, my music set group. Only click and drag down just those numbers. Make sure it lines up with just the music set numbers. Control copy there and come to sample two box, control V. And similarly, go back to my last group, the music choice group, click and drag, control copy. And then in the sample three box, control V. All right, and they should have the same number of numbers. Yes, they do. All right. So then all you're going to do after you filled in the top, you copy and pasted your three different samples in the three boxes. We are ready to go ahead and click calculate. And if you scroll down, you will see that we're getting roughly the same test statistic down here where you see the 7.43 and the same p-value. There may be a, some slight differences just mainly because of round off and some, a few things. But for the most part, the ANOVA summary table down here should agree with what you saw when you got your Excel results and ran one way ANOVA with Excel. But here's the main reason I sent you to this website. This website automatically, as part of the one way ANOVA, conducts a Tukey post hoc test. And as long as you've got equal size groups, which we do here, it can run Tukey's post hoc. And so this is the important thing to notice. It does pairwise comparisons to let us know which groups are significantly different. We already knew from my low p-value that there was at least one group that had a mean productivity that was significantly different than the others, but this tells us which groups. So notice it tells us that the mean of group one and the mean of group two, and if you recall, group one and two were the no music, that was sample one, and the set music, that was sample two, it's showing me that they, there is a non-significant difference between them. So those two, two groups do not show significant differences in mean productivity. So in fact, we could just attribute the differences that we're seeing between those two groups to just random variation, random chance. But when they did a pairwise, when two keys was used to do a pairwise comparison with group one, which was the no music, and group three, which was the uh, music choice, then there was a significant difference. The p-value is less than 0.01, so a very small p-value. There was also a difference when the comparison was made between group two, which had music, but it was already set music that was played, versus group three that got to choose their own music. There was also a significant difference there with the p-value being less than 0.05. So not as strong of a difference, but still a significant difference. So this just shows you that you do have at least one group significantly different. And in fact, it's group three that is significantly different from both the no music group and the set music group. However, there was not a significant difference between the no music group and the set music group. So it's just helpful to be able to see this, even though it's not covered in the text, it's pretty easy to understand because now you're you're uh, getting a lot more confident with your understanding of the implications from various p-value calculations. So this will be something that you can either snip an image or probably do a quick little just copy paste of that little part here from two keys, or you can, like I said, snip this whole little box if you want to and add it in as part of your unit six discussion so that we can even branch out a little further and be able to talk about where uh, the significant differences lie. Now, some of y'all may get significant differences and some of y'all may not. It totally depends on the random data that was generated when you typed in your name, but it will be interest, interesting to be able to see different results and be able to talk about what those um, calculations mean.